<laughs> 30 hours ago, Yuna Lee and I were prisoners in North Korea. We feared that at any moment we could be sent to a hard labor camp. And then suddenly we were told that we were going to a meeting. We were taken to a location and when we walked in through the doors, we saw standing before us President Bill Clinton. <laughs> We were shocked, but we knew instantly in our hearts that the nightmare of our lives was finally coming to an end. And now we stand here home and free. Yuna and I would just like to express our deepest gratitude to President Clinton and his wonderful, amazing, not to mention super cool team, inclu <laughs> including John Podesta, Doug Band, Justin Cooper, Dr. Roger Band, David Straub, Minji Kwan, and the United States Secret Service who traveled halfway around the world and then some to secure our release. We'd also like to thank President Obama, Secretary Clinton, Vice President Gore, who we also call Al, <laughs> the Swedish Ambassador Mats Foyer, Kurt Tong, Linda McFadden and the people at the U.S. State Department, who worked so hard to win the release of their fellow Americans. Steve Bing and his crew, and Andrew Liveris and the Dow Company. And I know that I am forgetting a bunch of instrumental people right now, but forgive me if I'm a little incoherent. <laughs> to our loved ones, friends, colleagues, and to the complete strangers with the kindest of hearts who showed us so much love and sent us so many positive thoughts and energy, we thank you. We could feel your love all the way in North Korea. It is what kept us going in the darkest of hours. It is what sustained our faith that we would come home. The past 140 days have been the most difficult, heart-wrenching time of our lives. We are very grateful that we were granted amnesty by the government of North Korea, and we are so happy to be home. And we are just so anxious right now to be able to spend some quiet, private time getting reacquainted with our families. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the families asked me to say a, a few words, and on their behalf, all of us at, uh, and on behalf of the staff and families of Current TV and my co-founder, Joel Hyatt, we want to welcome Laura and Yuna home. We want to thank President Bill Clinton for undertaking this mission and performing it so skillfully, and all the members of his team who, who played key roles in this. Uh, also, to President Obama, Laura mentioned this, but President Obama and countless members of his administration have been deeply involved in this humanitarian effort to Secretary uh, Clinton and the members of the State Department, several of whom are, are here. They, they have really put their hearts in this. It speaks well of our country that when two American citizens are in harm's way that so many people 
would just put things aside and just go to work to, to, to make sure that this has had a happy ending. And we are so grateful to all of them, to the thousands upon thousands of people who have held Laura and Una in their prayers, who have written letters and called and sent emails. Uh, we, we're very, very grateful to, to Steve Bing and all the folks who have made the uh, flight possible. We say a, a word of thanks, uh, deep thanks uh, as well. Uh, this uh, has been an ordeal for them, but I want you all to know your families have been unbelievable, unbelievable, passionate, involved, committed, innovative. <laughs> you, you'll hear a lot of stories, and they're looking forward to hearing a, a lot of stories from you. But you know, Hannah's been a great girl while you were gone. <laughs> And Laura, your mom's been making your special soup for two days now. And uh, to, to everybody who's played a part in this, and again, a special thanks to, to President Bill Clinton, my partner and friend, uh, so grateful. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for coming out. We're going to let these families have a, a full and proper reunion now, but thank you for coming out.